A pleasant day, STEM learners. This is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher. So for today's discussion, let's talk about the last video lesson for weeks three to four, locating percentiles under the normal curve. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to compute probabilities and locate percentiles in a standard normal table. So what are percentiles? Percentiles under the normal curve from the word percent or a centile is a point in the distribution such that a given number of cases is below it for any set of measurements. So anything that is below a certain vertical line on under the normal curve will be a percentile. Actually, the percentile was also discussed with you during your grade 10 mathematics because you had your quartile, decile, and percentile measurements, which are measures of position. So a percentile rank is the percentage of scores that fall or below a given score. So let us illustrate it in real life. So example, you are the fourth tallest in the class of 20. So where are you located? So again, a percentile describes your position and how many of your classmates are below you. Or it may also describe how many are above you. So as shown up, um, on the figure, so 80% of the students are shorter than you. So that is your position. That means that your height is at the 80th percentile and your percentile rank is 80. So that is the verbal interpretation of that situation based from the measure of position given on the situation. So let us find percentiles under the normal curve. Problem number one, we find the 70th percentile, which is represented by P sub 70 of a standard normal curve. First is you assume values which are um, seven, which you think is 70% of the distribution. So if we are going to draw the normal curve, so at the center is already 50% of the distribution. So we assume that it is located somewhere here, the 70%. Then you can shade this area. So as you could see, the area seems to be 0.5 because the shaded area on the left is, are, is fully shaded plus the area, which is 0 0.200. So these are the areas involved for a 70th percentile. Okay, so that is how we illustrate it using the normal curve. Yeah, that one. So look at the given illustration here. So we have a 50% plus 20%. And since it represents all the areas below, then we shade only the left side of the distribution. So that vertical line is represented by the 70th percentile, which is P sub 70. So using the table, find the Z value, which corresponds to an area that is equal to the nearest or nearest to 20% or 0 0.2. So look at this table. So we are now going to look the nearest area to 0 0.2. Observe that the nearest is 0 0.1985. So why did we not get 0 0.20? Look at that one, 0 0.2019. So which is more nearer? Isn't it 0 0.185? Because it is 15 units away from 0 0.2. Unlike this one, 2019, that is 19 units away. So 
the green mark here is still the nearest area. Okay, so after determining the nearest area, which is 0 0.1985, we identify the corresponding z-score. So therefore, the z-score is 0 0.52. So when you draw, thus, the 70th percentile is 0 0.52. So that is the z-score corresponding to it. In your modified assessment, you will be asked about the required area. So that is 0.5 plus 0.2. So that's the required area. And then for the second column of the modified assessment, you will be asked for the nearest area. So you have to answer that one using the Z table. And on the third column of the modified assessment, your answer will should be reflected as Z equals 0 0.52. Okay? So let's now proceed to the second problem. Find the 10th percentile, P sub 10, of a standard normal curve. So not this. So this is 10%, which is shaded below the percentile. And notice that we have a remaining 40% area, which is unshaded on the um, half left of the standard normal curve. So that is P sub 10. So we find uh, the Z value which corresponds to an area nearest to 0 0.4. Okay, so it seems that we used operation 0.5, which is half of the left side, minus 0.1. So that the Required area is 0 0.4. So that is what you're going to write on the first um, column of the modified assessment. That's 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.4. Using the Z table, we need to find the nearest area to 0 0.4. So looking at this, not this one, look at this one. The two values here, 0 0.3997 and 0 0.4015. Notice that 0 0.997 is three units away from 0 0.4, while 0 0.4015 is 15 units away, which is nearest. Very good. The nearest area is 0 0.3997. Next. Look at the corresponding values for the z-score. That is 1.28. Okay, did you see it? So, therefore, the nearest area is 0 0.3997. Okay. And so, the 10th percentile of a standard normal curve is negative one point. 28. Now, the question is, why negative and not positive? Since the vertical line is located below the mean, then the standard score must be negative. So just in case your answer is positive 128, the answer will be wrong. Okay, Because a 10th percentile is located on the negative side of the um, curve. Now let's proceed to problem number three. Find 95th percentile or P sub 95 of a standard normal curve. So again, we assume that since this is 95% or of the distribution or the 95th percentile, that will be located almost on the rightmost part. So the vertical line is located here. So notice that the involved areas are 50% or 0 0.5 and 0 0.4500, 0, 0. so which represents P sub 95. So how are we going to get the area 0 0.45? That is 0 0.5 plus um, 0 0.045 that will give us the required area, which is 0 0.9500. 
So, looking at the Z table, we have two nearest areas because both of them are five units away. So, the two nearest areas are 0 0.4495 and 0 0.4505, which corresponds to Z equals 1.64, that one, this one, and this one, and 1.65, this one, and this one, okay? So since we have two Z scores, you have to get the mean or the average of the two Z scores. So we have 1.64 plus 1.65 divided by 2. So the final answer will be 1.64 which is the average of the two Z scores. So therefore, the Z score that is represented by the percentile is 1.645. So I hope these are already enough examples for you to answer our Wix 3 to 4 modified assessment. So on the next video lesson, we will have a series of the lessons for week number five, which will talk about the sampling and the sampling distribution. Happy learning. Again, this is Sir Peter, your statistics and probability teacher.